check, check. Oh, Canada. Uh, what? I gotta stop doing these singing intros. I'm not doing myself any favors. All right. Gold, 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 gold. Still on the gold bug track. You gotta look where it looks interesting. Uh, I thought about doing one on Palladium. Uh, that I missed the boat on that one. I had done a podcast on Palladium in November. Uh, I had the uh, retrace below 12th average, kind of got off my radar. And man, I should have reset some alerts because I missed one hell of a skyrocket ship to the moon. Anyways, may do a podcast very soon on that. Maybe I'll get a pullback and won't miss my chance at this time. All right, so you got gold. You got gold express in a whole bunch of... Uh, do, 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 do. I love Oanda for that. Look at that. Here's a crazy platinum, a palladium. It's insane. And you got gold XA, XAU, silver ratio it, in US dollars, spot gold and all of these currencies. And where, whatever country you're from, you might have some advantages of playing gold in your currency instead of always gold expressing US dollars. Well, if the US dollar is uh, super strong, then... Uh, price of gold is gonna be is gonna suffer, right? You'll get less um, less bang for your buck. But if the Canadian dollar is going down, you'll need more Canadian dollars to buy that same amounts of gold, and the chart's gonna look a little different. And you kind of see it here. Look, I'm just gonna compare XAU USD. Why do I sing? Okay. And you see right here, U.S. dollar back here was pretty weak. Gold through the roof. And here's the nice, crazy, crazy base we've been looking at for gold, 1350, right around here. And if you compare that to the Canadian, and you'll see the big difference. Same time of platform but we don't have any more overhead resistance right here us has all is going to start running into golden and express and us dollars oh i don't like this i'm going to change line to ah candles I'm so happy so the us has measured move that's going to bring it pretty much all the way close up to here let me get my arrow Do -do -do. Okay, gold here. This is what I'm looking at. That's the bigger pattern. Gonna run through, gonna hit some resistance right here. Uh, the less greedy of targets. With this measure move added to the breakout line, bring you just under, just under. I love the coiling action here just under that monthly defined breakdown line, which is now going to be a lot of resistance. But the bigger pattern is going to be, we should be able to go all the way up here. That's for US, but for Canadians, adios. There's nothing, there's nothing on top. So this situation has never happened. Well, I have maybe before 2009. So either the Canadian dollar is a combination of both that the gold the price the value of gold each ounce is going to be worth more and more combine that with a, uh, a depreciating canadian dollar you'll need more and more canadian dollars to buy that same ounce of gold so that combo it seems to be the chart that's telling us that it's going to happen smaller closer pattern close to breakout line right here you have you're starting already you're already starting close above this uh, 2017, uh, almost two years here. Base broke out, confirmed in December. Sideways move, consolidation, uh, pullback. We could probably look on the uh, on the weekly. We'll see that action coming back here, hitting, getting closer to that right here. Let me pull that out. It's 
Zoom, zoom, zoom. My lines are crooked. There you go. What? Hitting some previously defined uh, from 2016 resistance. See those buyers, the sellers coming in. Those wicks. Same here. So this is a congestion area, multiple levels to get through. Very good sign that you close above this one. Sideways move. Now the next step is at 1760. You want a monthly close above that. It had difficulty doing it right here. Maybe the because of the price of oil, if it creeps up, then uh, Canada we have a petrol dollar, so the price of Canadian the the loonie might go up in value, hence slowing down the explosion right here. But it's still we're still closer to a break out than a breakdown. Look at that crazy 12 month ring average, man. That's this long, long stage three we've been in here. Since that insane stage two we had here. Crazy tweezer tops. These two here. On the monthly chart, man, when you see tweezer tops or huge wicks, big, big sign that uh there there's an issue, there's a strong pullback. Uh, when I've seen these, really, really you gotta really respect those. Just like I think our December candle on the the U.S. markets, we had that wick come back up. That's a warning sign that a lot, a lot of buyers at those low levels, at that there was extreme, extreme uh, euphoria. The price action was all the way here, and the sellers say, "No, this is way too much." You're coming back down. Try the next month. Come back down. Try it again. Come back down. A lot of options to to start thinking about getting out. And then after that, when you had that close below that 12 month ring average, it was time to say sayonara. It actually tried to go back up again, 2012, never quite making it. And after that, tumbling into stage four, never getting challenged until exited right here. And then it's very, very, very shaky stage two. Hard to play this one. Uh, but let's see. So the chart morphs. Now we have this big, 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 big base. I could do my super duper greedy target if I'm really in the mood to dream. This would be the first target for Canadian dollars. Right here. Right here. I'm forgetting about these wicks. I could make even maybe a bigger target. If we ever get more tests here that validate this close at 1783 added to breakout line higher breakout line so this is pretty much my range my target the greedy greediest of greediest 2300 for an ounce of gold Canadian dollars or 2240 pretty much that range right here that's the targets the greedy targets of this big 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 base and uh, coiling getting less and less volatile and then you have these intermediate targets right here least greedy targets right here. You can make a case that this target is already in effect and that we're pulling back, hitting that monthly defined resistance. So these are the closer targets. But again, monthly chart, you want targets, you want a direction, and the direction is up, 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 up. If you get these closes above that final frontier there, that 1800 one, if you get a close above that, then sky's the limit. This could bounce back, come and test here. But right now, I'm looking here because this is the zone. We're really, really close. Okay, we're going to go take a look on the weekly. See how that's shaping up. Ooh. Very hard to play on the weekly. Not a lot of... Uh, Reset chart. I'll look at a lot of volatility. See, on the monthly, we didn't have tests of the 12 month moving average. Here we have some tests of the weekly. Lots and lots of volatility that could whipsaw you, trigger you out. Very hard to play on the weekly uh, using Stan Weinstein for gold, expressing Kenyan dollars. Uh, Ichimoku Cloud, we're, we're above it. Nothing above. Sorry about that. Uh, you see that wick 
last week, buyers came in, brought that price action back down, hitting that invisible monthly defined uh, breakdown uh, resistance. And it's not the best play to go along right now. So we really have to wait underperforming the SPX. So we really want the price action to start exploding, closing above February could really explode, turning around, starting to reaccelerate. Uh, it's outperforming this PX. You could have bouncing off the halfway line. You could really have something good for gold expressing Canadian dollars. And let's check it out. I want to compare XAU USD. Is it outperforming? Okay, it was for a while. So it was outperforming gold expressing US dollars. But right now, again, halfway. So if gold breaks out in US dollars, it could be a better move than playing the gold uh, breaking out express in Canadian dollars. So we're just going to have to wait just a little bit. This is really at the crossroads right now. Don't jump the gun too early. You could have jumped the gun early, way back, and then after that you would have been trapped into this... Uh, uh, emotion draining and uh, roller coaster just go nuts man just insane so right now you're really really close to gold time just have to wait gold express and canadian dollars guys looking good chop stop stop